In Cleveland's Metropolitan School District, four out of 10 high school students don't graduate. But there is one school where 95% graduate and 84% of those go to college. We get mentors and real world experience through volunteering and internships. And when we graduate, we're prepared to succeed in college, in our careers, and in life. It's called MC Squared STEM High School. Take a look at what they do for their students. It might change what you do for yours. I think when we look at a, at a program like STEM School, they've laid out a very good program. The hands-on projects, the industrial collaboration, the university collaboration is a wonderful environment in which the kids can excel. Each kid has to have their fuse lit for that rocket to take off. So you can get them out on the launching pad, but if you don't light the fuse, they're not gonna go. Tim and I started out mentoring it about a year and a half, almost two years ago, when he was entering sophomore. He has become a tremendously different person. He's now a very confident young man. This is really remarkable. We brought kids in from the neighborhood, basically. They're not handpicked from premium high schools in the area and gave them a rich experience in working with role models. What's rewarding about working with professionals here on GE campus is getting to know how their life is. It makes me think, at least, that, you know, hey, if I go into this career, that's going to be me, you know? That's going to be me working really hard. That's going to be me using all these math that my math teacher is teaching me. That's going to be me using all the science that my science teacher is teaching me. This real world experience that they get really grounds them. So school is no longer for them a theoretical hypothesis for what life might be like. We're going to be working with multimeters. Okay, so your training is actually starting on equipment today. So it's very reality-based. Okay, what does that K mean, by the way? Thousand. Thousand. Okay, so that's 2,000 so, times so uh, 2,000 K homes. They're teaching us from experience. And when the professionals come in, it's like, wow, I need to pay attention. <laughs> Mastery-based grading is different from the ABC scale. We get graded on M, which is mastery, reaching mastery, and uh, incomplete. It's a negative slope, and it's less than or equal to. Assessment in mastery is, in math is done two ways, one through the testing of the mastery of the paper pencil skills, but then any project we do has a rubric, so the students know exactly what they need to do to perform to reach mastery. Before we did the quadratic formula, what did we do? The kids have to show that they've learned the content, and I, I feel really comfortable about that. Every summer, in our three-week break, I've gotten the chance to do an internship. When I came to STEM, I wanted to be an astronomer, so I got my NASA internship and I build hydrogen sensors for the International Space Station, but I found out I don't want to be an astronomer. <laughs> My second was in the Injury Prevention Center at uh, University Hospitals. I found out I don't want to do anything that has to do with hospitals. My third one, which is the one I'm currently in, uh, is at American Civil Liberties Union. I think I'm gonna end up doing something with political science that has to do with protection of our rights because I'm very passionate about that. Engineering is in my family. My father is a building engineer for Cleveland Thermal, so I was always interested, but I needed guidance going into high school. At STEM, everything 
was based on projects with other people, not just science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It goes beyond that. It goes to character, teamwork. At my internship, my main duty is document control. I started in March, and maybe around July, I started to understand the stuff I was folding. I started to understand the stuff I was typing. This internship is more school to me than high school right now. We should talk about, instead of coming back here for your other classes, maybe going to health careers like Melissa's doing. They're not only getting from us an insight into how do you get through high school to prepare for college, how do you choose in college, but what does it look like beyond that? What are you really getting ready for? So the message to the kids is it's not a linear path through school or grad school or med school or law school. It's really that emotional guidance. What are you feeling in here that makes sense to you in life, where you think you can contribute? That emotional guidance, I think, is really key.